10 real people with awful names. Hitler Mussolini. Yes, you are reading that name correctly. His full name was Hitler Mussolini de Mora Pacheco. Not only was this poor guy affected with the first name that still makes people cringe today, but he also has a last name that's working against him. Hitler has since passed. When he was alive, he was the director general of the civil police and married to the attorney general of Brazil named Dalva Ribeiro Pacheco. Johnny Dickshot. Johnny Dickshot played Major League Baseball from 1936 until 1945. If his legal name wasn't bad enough, this guy was nicknamed Ugly for his self-proclamation of being the ugliest player in baseball. He was born as John Oscar Dixus and only slightly changed his name when he started playing pro ball. He played for several teams in the MLB and died in 1997 at the age of 87 years old. Filet Mignon. When you look at it, this unfortunate person not only has a weird name, but it's rather boring. It's the name of a dinner dish. There's no sexual innuendos to make it funny, it's just the name of a meal. Filet's LinkedIn profile indicates that she is a health and wellness coach based in Atlanta, Georgia. It seems that she doesn't let her name stop her from her various endeavors and is successful enough to be self-employed. Luscious Pussy. Luscious Pussy played college football and played for the Carolina Panthers. However, Luscious was getting so much flack for his name that he eventually had it legally changed to Luscious Seymour, much to the dismay of his fans and others who were astounded that someone with his name even existed. Petitions even started online begging Luscious to change his name back. However, it also seems that Luscious has completely disappeared from media radar. Steve Schartz. Steve Schartz played minor league baseball for the Phillies after being recruited from college. His career officially started in 1985 and ended in 1998. Schartz never made it to the major leagues, but his experience proved him worthy to coach high school baseball, and he went on to manage his own facility in Tampa, Florida. Schartz's name has garnered widespread attention due to the fact that Schartz is a term for someone who shits and farts at the same time. Tara Cherry. What is delightfully ironic about Tara Cherry's name is that she is now a gynecologist based out of Austin, Texas. Despite having a name that could turn customers away out of fear, she is a beloved doctor and gets really good reviews online for her services. Harry Balls. Harry Balls lived from 1886 until 1954 and was the mayor of Fort Wayne, Indiana and was also a Republican. Balls was a well-loved mayor and made huge contributions to the town. However, when the town came together and decided to name major streets and buildings after poignant members of the community, Balls was left out. Why? Well, the town realized that the rest of the world wouldn't understand who Harry Balls really was and worried they would become a butt of jokes all over the country. Since his death, Balls' descendants have changed the pronunciation of their last name to the homophone fails. Misty Hyman. Misty Hyman is an Olympic gold medalist in competition swimming. She was a part of the 2000 Summer Olympics and made a name for herself to her continued success in swim meets and competitions. However, she also became well known for the fact that her name sounds a lot like women's nether regions. She's been included in numerous lists for having one of the funniest names in sports history. Rich Will Wankett. You have to give Mr. Wankett some credit in the fact that he knows how to make lemonade when life gives him lemons. Rich Will Wankett is a real estate agent based in Minneapolis who worked for Adina Realty. He placed an ad with a masturbation spin in making fun of his own name in The Onion for his services and the ad went viral. Adina Realty wasn't amused and ended up firing Wankett. However, he is still working in Realty and intends to continue using his awful name to his own advantage. Rusty Kuntz. Rusty Kuntz made headlines for being a successful Major League Baseball player between 1979 and 1985. He played for the Detroit Tigers, Chicago White Sox, and the Minnesota Twins in the span of his career. After his career was over, he proceeded to coach as well as to train his son for the Major Leagues. But people haven't been able to get over the fact that his name is rather unique. Recent social media trends have directed the spotlight back onto Kuntz in recent years. We hope you enjoyed this video. Here are some links to some videos that you might also enjoy. And don't forget to subscribe.